Una pizza! This speciality from Napoli in the south of Italy became the iconic image of Italian cuisine. It's not because some people in the north of Italy will tell you that this is a poor man dish, you know, it's uh, not in the north, this is not Italy. But this around the world became the image of Italian cuisine. What do we drink? You know, you can go for Chianti Classico, which is very Italian, but we're in South Africa. We're gonna have South African wine with it. You will find millions of pizzas around the world, but we will focus today on the most iconic of them, the margarita. Why? Margarita's pizza has been offered to the Queen of Italy. It was Margarita of Savoy, she was the Queen of the New United Italy, and they wanted to make a gesture showing the new color of the flag. It was green for the pesto, the basil, red for the tomato, and white for the mozzarella. That's the Italian flag we know these days. So what are we going to drink with that? White wine should not be ruled out, but you need something very fruity, you know? Not too acid, not too green, because the tomato already got the acidity and the aggressive acidity uh, in the dish. So I've been selecting a Benguela Cove Sauvignon Blanc 2013, because it's a very unusual Sauvignon Blanc. Coming from a very cool climate, it's having all this tropical fruit and roundness and elegance. It's not like this asparagus, cut grass, uh, Sauvignon Blanc. It's a very elegant, very mouthful, rich, fruity, fruity, very fruity Sauvignon Blanc. And that will go extremely well with the pizza. Benguela Coves, 2013. That's a premium selection from Walker's Bay. A pizza, like a margarita, is a simple dish made with simple quality product. It's tomato, basil, mozzarella, uh, and just a, a bread dot. So, what do we need? We can call for extra spices. And that's why I've been selecting the Zevenwacht Tin Mine 2012. It's a blend of three cultivars. It's got Syrah, Grenache, and Mourvet. The Syrah goes so well because it reminds you the spiciness of the basil, almost minty white pepper. The Grenache in it engulfs the acidity of the tomato. And the Mourvet helps the tannins and the fruit to mix with the cheese. The mozzarella is so fat. So the Zevenwart uh, Tin Mine 2012 goes actually perfectly. I know it's a bit deconstructing the dish like that and taking deconstructing the wine with different cultivars, but that's how you make it things go together. That's what food pairing is all about. Thinking about everything into the pizza, thinking how the wine will behave, and that makes a perfect match. The Italian lifestyle revolves around the concept of dolce vita, which means easy life, intense, soft, easy life. And when we've got something rustic, like a pizza, what should we do? do with it, you know, make something softer, easier, and that's why I've been selecting a Merlot from KWV, Merlot KWV 2013, why? Because on the nose, on the Merlot, you got all the plum and the blackberry fruit, you got as well a hint of violet, that will make, it will slightly overpower the pizza, overpower the dish, but that's why you need to have, you know, the more rustic the dish is, the more elegant the wine should be, and kind of take over to leave the best aftertaste on the palate, forget the rusticity, enjoy the elegance. Hey, that's a Dolce Vita, KWV 2013 Merlot. Can't you imagine yourself, you know, it's a sunny day, it's a Gulf of Napoli, it's a beautiful view, got a great glass of wine, you got una bella regazza, una bella pizza, and suddenly that's a Dolce Vita, the easy life that Italy is all about. But just be careful when it comes to pizza, because these days they tend to put anything on pizza to make themselves interesting, you know, from burovols to tofu to pineapple, you can, anything, pepper dues or even, I don't know, organic tin can food, you never know. So just go simple, not only because my mama, she does the best margarita in the world, but that's as well one of the best food match when it goes to great wines. Both the Merlot, the red blend from Devenwart or the Sauvignon Blanc. So enjoy the margarita and get a great one with it. Mm -hmm. 